Do women have penises? Women can have penises. Can men get periods? Men can get periods. And can men get pregnant? Men can get pregnant. No! God, please, no! 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 Can men get pregnant? Yes. When you guys hear that type of rhetoric that only women can get pregnant, I mean, uh, how does it make you guys feel? Uh, I tend not to feel. It's just uh, incorrect. Yeah, there's not much that I can do. Like, yeah, it's strong. How you doing, guys? Do you want to tell us why you're here? Can you tell us why you're still wearing a mask? Is that for COVID or to like protect your identity? Look at her. So, so she's the victim now. She's the victim. Look at the victim. She's the victim. They're consolidating the victim. It's no surprise. How in the blue hell can you attack someone and then when they defend themselves, you start crying victim? And this is exactly why I call it the Victim Olympics. People wonder why we need a union at Starbucks. And I... I'm literally about to quit. It's just, I like I get, I'm like a full-time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week. And then on weekends, they schedule me the entire day open to close. I'm on the schedule for eight and a half hours, three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers and we have four people on the floor all day. <laughs> Only five people were put on the schedule and somebody had to call out. I truly feel your pain, but don't worry, there's a lot of hope for you in the future. Once you get your gender studies degree, you'll be able to find a better job. This is Ari, Gwendolyn and Brynifer. They are in a polyamorous relationship and they all parent Hazel and Sparrow. We have a two-year-old antigender baby and a 10-year-old who is non-binary. They have chosen not to disclose Sparrow's gender. We don't know it yet. It's something that Sparrow's gonna have to figure out and then tell us. But their parenting approach is controversial. I have literally received death threats. Crazy. Do you ever date a guy shorter than you? Um, no. I prefer 6'4 and up. 6'4? How tall are you? I'm 5'4. You need a whole foot? I need a whole foot. So why do girls like guys that are that tall? Um, they just offer like a different type of security. Like, like I mean, you, we are almost the same height. Like, you cool though, but like, I cool. If somebody come up to us and they trying to fight my boyfriend, they finna be scared because he tall as shit. You know, like a little bit of biggerness kind of like throw you off a little bit. Hey, so then how is dating for you in this generation? Well, like I'm a bigger woman, so you know, like. A lot of men are insecure or they worry about what a lot of people got to say. But if it's just us in our relationship, why are you worry about what people got to say, you know? Okay. Because I would treat you good, but I'm not, not going to be hidden. I'm not going to be undercover or like anything like that. So if we can't be out in the open and you're not, if you're not proud of me, then it's, it's a done deal. I think she meant she's five foot four horizontally. Do you think you're going to be better looking in 10 years as compared to how you look now? Yes. What about you? Yeah. So you'll be better looking at 35 than you are now at 25? Yes. Uh, 45? Yes. Subjectively, I think women look better in their mm -hmm. 30s. 85 or 55? Right there. They... 85. What about you? I'm just going to keep getting hotter every year. <laughs> uh, do you think that being physically attractive confers certain benefits, like pretty privilege? Do you believe in that? I think there definitely are instances mm. like that. Okay, so if I could wave a magic wand that would just age you 30 years, Ooh. would you take it? That's, all right, now, now it's getting tricky. We are completely doomed. I think we need a transgender president. And here's why. There is no greater struggle than being trans. You're constantly hated. You're constantly... Ooh, people want to unalive you because just because of who you are. If we had transgender president, the world would be a much better place. And maybe all our haters might actually leave the United States instead of staying here. 
We, the people, run this country. Not our presidents. Not our congressmen. Not our senate. Our constitution says, we, the people. So, maybe, who's with me? We need a transgender president. I'm up for it. Anybody else? Who's going to be a candidate? Yeah, because somehow getting a transgender president is going to solve all the issues of the world. Well, if a guy tells you, don't wear that shirt because when you go out, guys are going to see you. Why is it scared? Because he's looking at other girls wearing mm -hmm. the same shit. Exactly. So whatever your man is insecure about or doesn't want you doing or blames you for doing, even though you're not doing it, it's not, you're not the problem. He's scared that you're going to do what he's doing to you. Yeah. Or maybe, just maybe, it's respectful to not look like you're a 1960s escort. Is pride a place for kids? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was a kid once, and having this and the resources would have definitely helped me avoid some of the problems that I saw in myself. Or maybe another good idea is we can teach them about mathematics, or maybe we can try and teach them about geography to know different countries and things like that. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'm a transgender student at Mizzou. I use he, him pronouns, and I've been receiving gender affirming care for about eight months. I have used a public bathroom five times in the past six months, and it's never easy. If I'm in a building, I will find a bathroom the furthest possible away from others. When I go in, I'll shut myself in the stall as fast as I can. If someone else comes in, I wait for them to leave. I have left events early so that I would not have to use a restroom. I've been late to classes trying to find a gender neutral bathroom. And I do all of this with no bathroom ban in place. I do it because I'm afraid. Currently, I look very androgynous. And every time I freeze up trying to decide which is the safest option. And oftentimes that decision is that waiting 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour is worth it over the risk of making the wrong decision. This seems to be a you problem. If you need to do all of that, you might as well just stay at home. You were f Well, yeah, of course. And he was married. Yes. That's home record behavior. Technically. That is true. That's yeah. Embarrassing. Yeah. But they're still together. So Wait a minute. And you fun. signed a lease expecting him to live with you? Yeah, they're still together. Does she know? Oh, yeah. Are they open? No. Huh? Future wife, please don't cheat on me. So she found out about me. Oh, she found out. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she definitely sounded sad as she brags about how she did it. My name is Ernie Whitaker. My pronouns are I, me, he, him, she, her, we, they, us. Sometimes I even use Shakespearean pronouns, which are thee, thou, thy, thyself, and ye. I'm transgender, non-binary, gender conforming, gender fluid, just to name a few. As you all know, the trans movement is the fastest growing movement out there, so I figured, why not get involved in the ground level and use it to my advantage? For instance, whenever I'm late to work, which happens a lot, I'm not gonna lie, I just self-identify as translate. Not translate like a language translate, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That's someone who's late, but identifies as being on time. I thought of that one myself. I'm not gonna lie. It is uh, challenging having somebody like Ernie in the office, uh, but due to diversity requirements, uh, we have to have he, him, she, her, we, they. Don't forget about us. Sorry. Okay. And us. My husband is a stay-at-home husband. Who wears the pants in the marriage? I do. Would you say he's alpha or beta? He is an alpha passing beta. Wait, how does that make sense? You look at him and he seems like an alpha, but he's really just a beta. He likes to get dominated in bed? Yes. Does he get pegged? Yes. What? He was always into that. Oh, hell no! There was a lot going on in that video, and I am not going to comment on it. You guys can make your own assumptions in the comment section down below.